Solomon rushed up to look outside and found that the snowflakes were flying up into the sky. It turned out that the hot air balloon was descending too fast. Then the snowflakes were descending, but at this rate, they were all going to die. So the two of them started throwing sandbags like crazy. Even the box was thrown down, but the balloon didn't slow down at all. Then the two men quickly emptying the basket of all the items. They even took off their jackets and threw them down as the balloon was still descending rapidly. At that moment, the man shouted, climb up to the top ring. The two men hurriedly climbed up. Then the man took out his knife. One by one, he cut the ropes holding the balloon basket in place. But when the third rope was cut, it suddenly tilted. The two men were almost thrown out of the basket. In the nick of time, the man sat down and cut the last rope. The hot air balloon basket fell with a whoosh. Who knows? After a lot of effort, the speed of the balloon's descent did not slow down. At that moment, his companion saw the hot air balloon overhead. Suddenly had an idea. Cut the rope of the parachute ring. Maybe we can make the balloon into a parachute. So he slashed the rope. And sure enough, the crotch of the balloon was pulled into the net with a poof. The hot air balloon instantly turned into a parachute. This made the two men very happy. Then the parachute took them both into the forest headlong. When they came to their senses, they shouted each other's names. And so, the two men limped and helped each other towards home.